so much is still unknown when it comes to the CrossFit Games. The games may happen at the end of the summer or into the fall, and rumor has it that if they do, they'll happen at the ranch. But the likelihood of having a ton of individual athletes there, that means elites and also the age groupers, is not super high. So if you're a teen or you're a master who's qualified, how do you feel about that? My guess is they'd uh, probably have us do an online competition, which I'm not too crazy about that idea. I'd rather them just cancel it for the year, which I'd be super bummed about, especially because it's my last year in the teenage division. But online, like, competitors know, and I mean, many people know that it's just not the same. Like, when you're face-to-face with somebody else, you get, like, extra adrenaline, and it's more of a race and stuff, and you can have more components added to it. So, I mean, I'd be disappointed, but then again, you kind of have to do what you have to do with a global pandemic, so. In in reality, and my opinion might be different than others because uh, because I've competed at, like, the big stage, um, the reality is we're the minor leagues and, and the big stage is the majors and people want to watch the majors. And if it means that they get the opportunity and those athletes who, uh, uh, have earned their spot to go to that show or that competition, uh, if they get the opportunity, I think that's more important than the rest of us. And it doesn't mean that we haven't earned it and worked hard. Uh, I can't say that I've worked that hard for it, but um, I get it. People have put in hours and energy and sacrifice so much that they want this opportunity to compete, but we have to look at the world around us and and uh, understand that we're in uncharted territory and we have to kind of accept whatever comes our way. I think you're right. I think that um, a lot of people would and have, we've heard them disagree about the sort of like major minor status. Um, and it is, you've been on the competition floor in so many other respects, so I know you have that kind of perspective, but why do you think that is that some people are fighting just as hard to say like, hey, I earned my spot, I'm just a different age category? Uh, because they have, and you put in a lot of hours, and so you, you do earn a spot to compete or to contest with your age group, but the age groups wouldn't exist without uh, like the, the games as they were originally intended without those ever existing. And so they, they gave the opportunity for these age groups to kind of present themselves, but they're still kind of the back seat. I mean, I've been an, uh, an elite athlete. I've been on a team side of it. I've been on the demo team side of it. I've seen the stands. People aren't watching the Netflix documentaries on the master's division. They're watching the Netflix documentaries on the Tia Claire Toomey's and the Matt Frazier's and those inspiring, motivating, empowering stories. And not to say that they don't exist in the other platforms, but it's, it's not what's captivating the audience right now. And, and it doesn't mean that they're not deserving of those spots, but if there's only so many opportunities to have the CrossFit Games take place with a select pool of athletes, it's got to be the best of the best. I would feel pretty bummed personally. I, I understand there's a lot of things <clears throat> that have to happen for, you know, for us all to get together and it's not very likely, but I would be bummed. I mean, I worked hard just like everybody else to get there. And uh, then when they kind of uh, trickle the aromas uh, games like at the ranch, that's like very interesting to me. I would, I would love to go there. It would be a, a big deal. Um, and I, I would love to, I mean, I, I want to go, like, that's why I, I trained, you know, hard to do it. And I want to go to the games. Um, I worked hard for the last more than three years, but for the last three years specifically for me was like, kind of like a comeback to get there. And I yeah. feel like I did it. And now I don't want it to be, I don't want it to be online uh, for me personally. I don't, I would feel like it kind of got taken away a little bit, but obviously everyone's safety is in mind firsthand, um, but selfishly for me, I, I want to go of like a comeback season for you um, because obviously you had had to take some time off after the fertility drugs that you were on sort of came back as not being allowed uh, in, the, in the competition. So what would it mean for you sort of as a specifically as a comeback moment? It would be great. I mean, I, 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 didn't, I didn't expect to, to win the age group 
for online qualifying. I know guys and, and they're all super talented and, and athletes. So I was like, I, I just know like I put in the work uh, when I saw the leaderboard final, I kind of like was super happy and excited. I feel like I can really, you know, do something, um, you know, as a master at the games and I want to go and I want to show it would mean a lot. Um, so I hope it happens, but again, it, it has to be right.